Now that you found yourself really interested in the world of IT, you may be considering a career, but specifically inside of the networking world. Well, where should you begin? Well, I recommend that you actually take a look, of course, at starting with the CCNA itself. Now, Cisco is a recognized vendor in this particular space. So you want to actually make sure you at least get one certification inside of the Cisco vendor realm, and this will help you to get started in your networking career as well. Now, when we start talking about the CCNA, it is by far the most popular Cisco certification that's out there that then, of course, leads to more and more other certifications. Let me show you what I'm talking about here on my screen. So as we start to take a look, there is an entry level certification. This is not the one that you should be focusing on if you have any other experience at all. This is really at the beginning here. But what we're talking about is right here inside of the CCNA. Now, the CCNA itself will actually be a little bit challenging if you haven't had any uh, particular knowledge for you. But if you've already got a little bit of networking experience, this is the perfect place for you to start. But as you continue to develop your networking skills and you actually start leading up, you actually see that there's a professional level as well as the CCIE, which is one of the highest level certifications that's out there and worldwide respected certifications. You're actually talking about this particular track itself. These are internationally recognized certifications that you definitely want to make sure that you take a look at if you want to advance your career. Now, when we talk about focusing in on the CCNA, the reason why we want to do this is because in today's networks, you're not only just dealing with routers and switches anymore, which was the primary focus of previous iterations of the CCNA exam. But in today's environment, there are actually so many newer technologies, and this is what this associate level, the Cisco Certified Networking Associate level, is designed to do. It's actually designed to help you expand your job po possibilities, as it says, by also taking a look at some of the latest technologies that's out there to, again, ensure that you're actually studying and focused in on the newest technologies. Now, what are those technologies? Well, you, of course, can actually take a look, especially on the exam focus here. You can download a complete list of what they call the exam blueprint, which are really exam objectives for you. And you can see the breakdown of these six different technology areas that they're going to test you on, which means you should know at least the fundamentals that they're asking you about on this uh, list of objectives here. Networking fundamentals to network access in terms of control, IP connectivity, IP services, uh, security fundamentals, as well as automation and programmability, which is where the future of networking is going when you hear about the term networking programmability. This will help introduce you to that topic as well. So it's not only very narrow in its focus, this is a very broad-minded exam that's going to prepare you for the, few, for the current field of networking that you actually see in most companies out there as well. Okay, So when you actually are ready and you're actually trying to study for this, you want to make sure you include in a couple of different things. One, of course, is that you include in this exam objective list so you know exactly what topics that you're studying for. But then you want some type of training material if you're not super familiar with it. Now, there's plenty of different ones there. You can go from books. You can, of course, go uh, in uh, the traditional instructor-led training. But if you actually happen to be watching this on video, you also can get video training, such as from IT Pro TV. Now, what else should you actually need? You want to make sure that you spend some time in a lab environment as well. And this is where you can actually go ahead and do that. Depending on your training provider, you may also, of course, see that there are labs associated with the lessons that you also have available to you as well. So here at IT Pro TV, we have different networking modules, and these follow the exam objectives itself, where you can launch a particular lab, or you can actually see the entirety of the concepts here as well. And that will launch you into a lab environment where you'll get access to real Cisco equipment that you'll actually be able to work on, as well as lab and study guides that will help cement that process for you to ensure that you're actually ready for the exam as it comes up as well. Now, once you feel prepared and that you're ready to go, you want to go to Pearson View. And when you do so, you're looking for this first link right here that says test takers, and you'll be scheduling the exam. Do not wait too long because the knowledge itself can be perishable if you're not working on a day-to-day -day basis. Where it says ready, set, and test, you'll type in Cisco systems. And this is going to be the Cisco specific vendor page that they have. Over on the right-hand side, if you haven't created an account yet, you'll need to create an account. And this is going to be free. It's not going to cost you anything. But if you have, you can go ahead and sign in from that point. And from that point, you'll also need the exam number itself, which is what they'll normally ask you for. So for example, the CCNA is 200-301. 
You'll put that in there and then you'll follow the screen itself. Now in today's environment, more than likely your testing environment will be from home, but it could be by the time that you take it, it might actually be at a testing center. So make sure you look for those details in there as well. Now the exam itself is actually about 102 questions that you actually be facing. And there are varying levels of technicality and challenges as well. And there's other videos actually inside of our uh, particular uh, YouTube uh, site that we can, you can go to and actually see as we actually did a review of the exam as well. Well, if you're ready to get started for the CCNA, make sure that you actually take a look here and make sure you actually get started with IT Pro TV as well.